Hi everybody, welcome back to Time Predicts and this is a love reading. So everything to do with love, your heart condition, his heart condition or what are the problems, there are no problems. Anything to do with love and any important information that I have from my spirit guides and anything uh, that I channel and I can get it to you as an important message. So let's start uh, now. I'm going to do water, earth, fire and air. I'm going to start with water. Water signs are Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Yeah. So let's see what are the love messages. And what is your heart condition? And what is your heart saying? Let's see. Responsibility. You're responsible for something. Or probably you're the more responsible one when it com comes to partnership. And uh, be, uh, and uh, you take on more responsibility in the relationship. And uh, you're also responsible for the balance and harmony. I don't know why am I getting that. But uh, I also feel that what a sign you're dealing with Libra. You're dealing with uh, uh, another Cancer. If you're a Cancer, you're dealing with Cancer. And you're dealing with, I get Sagittarius and a Gemini. And um, water signs, I really think that it is your responsibility or another channel message is, uh, that I'm getting is channel message that I'm getting is that you have to take more responsibility in the situation, not just the other person and be more responsible. So this uh, reading is going two ways and I'm getting two channel messages. Some of you are very responsible in the relationship and uh, you do your bit to make your partner happy. And the other message is that uh, people... Uh, if you water signs are getting complaints that you really don't take care of me or you don't really love me or uh, or anything that kind of a complaint be more responsible and that's what I get and um, and also express your love you've not been expressing your love uh, to uh, to whoever you're going around with or uh, probably could be just a husband and uh, it could be a wife if uh, a guy is watching this but yes water signs are uh, take more responsibility or you're the more responsible one so it might just resonate with some of you all of you whoever is watching and guys this is a general reading and it's timeless that's what i always say it's not time bound universe is not time bound uh transformation something is different is going to happen in your love situation either uh, one of you wants to uh, take it to a different level wants to uh, add more seriousness to the situation or uh, or there's some kind of a transformation or you as a person have uh, transformed formed uh, since the time you've met uh, your partner and that's a beautiful transformation and I think the person has brought calmness and balance in your life and you also feel uh, very cared for and protected and a lot of uh, financial help also I'm getting the person is giving you financial help so you have transformed as a person and you're very happy about it let me see what are the other cards that I'm getting I'm getting R is important I is important S is important the letters and N is important for you. I don't know if uh, your lover's name uh, begins from that. But those letters are important. Or probably you'll see a person whose uh, name begins uh, with those letters. I also get 14. I also get probably you met on 14th February. Or you did celebrate 14th February very uh, in a very different way this year. I don't know why I get that. And uh, 14 is important for you. It's also that you've been seeing each other for 14 months. I get that uh, message also. It's a channel message and I get that message that you guys have been seeing each other for 14 months. Also, a lot of, uh, this is a cup sign. You walked, walked away from someone. I also get a lot of you if you're a number eight or in the eighth month last year or it's been eight months that you walked away from a relationship. So guys, these are different messages. This is not just for one person. So anybody can uh, uh, resonate with any number of messages or just one message or probably no message. So these are different messages. And so one of you did walk away from a situation and you thought uh, that uh, this uh, relationship is uh, uh, is not suiting you anymore, is not suiting the other person and there's nothing more that can be done and uh, there's nothing more that can be done to rescue the relationship or to bring it back to what it was. So I think one of you has uh, walked away. So let me see what are the other messages for uh, you guys, water signs. Water signs also think you are dealing with a woman who uh, is... Uh, uh, good with money and if you are a, a, a woman listening to this you are dealing with a man who's good with money but recently for two months probably the money situation has not been really well and you are worried about it and probably your partner is worried about it whoever uh, that person is whoever you involved with and uh, sorry guys I'm just taking out another deck and I wanted to use another deck for water signs to give more messages so let's see Cancer Scorpio Pisces what are the other uh, messages for you I'll see if I get more channel messages I, I got the message quiet, something about quiet or quietly, something like that. Uh, are you quiet? You've not been uh, really talking uh, to the other person, your partner, 
or do or you've done something quietly or i i don't know the other person is quiet i don't know for a lot of you the other one is not talking i think you've got a, you uh, you got into a tiff and the other person is a little quieter right now or probably colder that's what i get i also get cold like a cold war is happening between you two i think you should be the first one to make a move what a signs i don't know why i get that especially with the libra if you're dealing with the libra or aquarius i get that i get uh, two air signs if you're dealing with uh, a libra or aquarius i think you should be the first one to make a move yeah you've uh, you've you've got money if if you're a woman watching this the guy you were uh, with has a lot of money and if you're a man watching this i would say i would say somebody has a lot of money you have a lot of money i also feel that's how women get attracted to you because you've got a lot of money and uh, i also feel uh, you have a large heart and probably you do uh, do get attracted to more i i get virgo if if you're a water sign and if you're dealing with a virgo uh, you get attracted to virgos also that's what i get or probably you are going around with a virgo so let's see what is what are the other love messages for what a sign a uh, wish fulfillment card 11 number i always see it as a wish fulfillment card also feel a lot of you uh, are uh, met at a place uh, where your spiritual paths met or the same community or you believe in the same god or you have the you both have uh, had spiritual awakening i also get past life you connected uh, from the past life and i believe your soul mates i also get a very twin flame energy from 11 i get a twin flame energy so uh, you guys know each other and i don't know you to uh, uh, understand that the moment you met and it's like you almost knew each other and you know you are so comfortable with the other person and uh, it's it's like uh, you've known each other uh, from other uh, from past lives and you instantly recognized each other i also get that what a sign whoever you dealing with what a sign i feel if you dealing with the gemini that's for you if you dealing with the taurus also that's for you i i feel you found your uh, soulmate or your twin flame i also feel that you two feel very comfortable with each other if you're a water sign uh, if you're a water sign what are the other messages what a sign some of you wanted to walk away from a relationship but will not i have that feeling you will not walk away from a relationship if you're a number 8 remember i said you, you will walk away from a relationship but if you're a number 9 or anything to do with 27 number you will not walk away from a relationship you did walk if you did walk away i think you're going to go back to that person you you're going to go back you will not uh, completely walk away and you want to be with the person and i think you're really thinking that should i stay or should i walk away and that's that's the situation or that's the dilemma you are in that uh, uh, what to do and i i think even if you walk away a little you will turn back you are too attached to that person it will be very difficult for you to uh, leave that person especially if you were born on the 26 27 i also get 18 i also get number 2 if you were born on any of the dates what a sign and if you've had a situation like that i think it will be very difficult for you to walk away I also feel seven number is important for you. That's another message. I also I also got the word foresee, foresee, foresee whatever. Probably in the relationship, are you foreseeing a problem? Are you foreseeing some other other thing in the relationship and uh, which is which is good for you? Also, I also got future plans. There's some kind of future plans you're going to make with the person. What a sign! So some of you are going to uh, commit. Some of you are going to give a ring to your loved one as or as uh, or probably another gift. to show your commitment i don't know why i got that somebody some of you are going to do that sorry i'm just turning and twisting on the chair i got tired because i was working in yes uh, so that's the last message i also get number 3 is important for you what a sign i don't know why i get that i suddenly got that message number 3 is important for you temptation be careful of temptation no temptations in life guys i don't know what if it's in your relationship or a third person entry just be careful especially i feel if you're a water sign and if you are a scorpio just be careful of uh, um, any kind of temptation outside your relationship that's what i got so i'm going to move on to earth signs i've done water signs so this is earth earth is taurus virgo and capricorn so let's see what is your heart condition what are the love messages or the love prediction trust you need to trust somebody or you do trust somebody it could be either of the situation i think you need to trust someone what i'm going to take it as this you need to trust someone put your trust in that person i know why you're not putting that trust in the in your partner or why you questioning the partner some of you earth signs have been really questioning your partner especially if you are uh, uh, with going around with a fire sign i also get a very gemini energy i get a 
I get a cancer Scorpio energy. If you're going around with any of these uh, guys, earth sign, stop uh, questioning them. Just trust them. I would say just blindly trust them. They are telling you the truth. If in your mind there was a question if you are, if you know the truth or not, yes, they are telling you the truth. So don't worry about it. It is all about trust. And uh, trust is one of the main pillars on which uh, a relationship stands. And I think you need to trust. That's a very big message. That's a very important message, guys. Don't uh, don't start questioning the other person, and uh, just trust and believe in whatever uh, they are saying. And your heart will know that instinctively. You know if they're lying or not. Let me see another card. I'm gonna stop when I think. Willingness. There is a willingness in your relationship. I think you uh, uh, you are willing in the relationship and. Uh, you are also uh, going to compromise in the relationship. You're willing to compromise. So some of you, uh, earth signs, uh, whatever adjustments are needed in the uh, in in your love situation, you are going to make that adjustments. And I think you are you will end up making more adjustments, which will be good. Maybe your partner is a little stubborn or is a little rigid, and uh, you're also uh, I got earth sign uh, Taurians are a little bit rigid. But I think if you're a Taurian and you are dealing with somebody who's more stubborn than you are, and I think you are the one who's going to in this uh, situation sacrifice and sacrifice for for the better for the good to save the relationship and uh, to back off a bit and uh, you you will kind of compromise in 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 some way and your partner is going to be very heavy uh, happy the uh, compromise is going not going to be extremely big it's going to be uh, it's it's a small compromise or small adjustment that you need to uh, make in your uh, in your situation or in your partnership and things will be better guys so you are ready and you are willing Let me see what are the other signs. It says discernment. You are uh, developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. So, guys, when I started the Earth sign, I did I did say that you guys are fearing something. You are you have to trust, and that's the basis of everything, guys. You are you have to separate fear. There are illusions in your mind that you're just questioning the person. It is in your head. The person is not doing anything wrong. And you've just been questioning the person that why did you do it? Or I think you're doing something wrong. You have to understand and distinguish between uh, love. Love sometimes makes us fear. You get too possessive and you get too obsessive and you don't let the person to talk to anyone. Don't do that, guys. Just trust in the person. Just put trust in the person. Have faith in the person. And... Uh, Understand the truth from illusion. A lot of times our friends or people who don't uh, wish, uh, not just friends, but some sometimes we have people who don't wish well for us or for the relationship will actually put things in your in your mind and you'll hear a lot of ill things about somebody else. Don't, don't go by that. Just uh, go by your instinct and the person you're dealing with is actually, uh, you need to trust the person and whatever the person is telling you is actually right. So don't worry about that. Learn to uh, trust your person and learn to distinguish what is right between what is right and what is wrong. So guys, if you do that, you'll be a happier lot. That's what I get earth signs. Stop questioning the per uh, the uh, partner, your loved one. The person will also get irritated if you keep asking, you know, and the person really is not doing anything as really loyal to you. And, you know, you, the person will also wonder that why so many questions on me. It's better not to be in this relationship if there is no trust. Like I told you, trust is very important in any relationship. Number four is important for you, Earth. Uh, just be careful. You and your partner might, uh, you or your partner might have some financial constraint in uh, in four months. Four is important, or on the fourth date of uh, the coming months. Just be careful of uh, of all the finances, uh, whatever budgeting you're doing. Uh, do that well. Whatever you making. Uh, making notes of your money where it's going and coming just be careful and i don't know why there'll be something expensive that uh, you didn't uh, remember you bought or something and you suddenly realize it that you did spend a lot on that and you have actually no money sorry guys very hot so, and uh, though the ac is on i'm feeling hot <laughs> and that you uh, don't have any uh, money left so just be careful of your finances one uh, either of you or both of you just see that that finance you don't fall short of you know any kind of uh, money problem or you don't have any money problem coming up some kind of a contract in love what is the love contract that you're going to sign i hope guys you have your trust in place guys i'm getting a very big contract i'm seeing it as a very different thing are you asking your person to sign something almost literally that uh, no i will never cheat on you no i'm not lying no it's not like that no it's uh, no i am always going to be with you and it's uh, not what you're thinking are you just asking the person to almost sign something that you write it i will never lie to you write it i will always be with you don't do that guys that's now not how 
trust is made guys this is this is not really right because i read it very differently guys have a balanced situation the person really trusts you i think you got to put the trust back earth signs you're having a very big trust issue it's not right and this is a timeless reading so whenever you are going to listen to it you are having a trust issue <laughs> And also we listen too much to others. Don't listen too much to others. Otherwise, a lot of times we say, say is seeing is believing. But I really think that uh, believing is seeing. If you really, um, if, uh, if you really have to uh, dig out something or you think there is uh, more than meets the eye, then uh, do your homework. Don't listen to other people. And I really think uh, don't question your partner too much unless there is yeah, a huge problem and you've found, uh, caught the person red-handed. So I know why the trust issue is coming up again and again. See, broken heart. I feel the trust issue is coming from a broken heart in the past. And they, that's where you're collecting all your fears from. And because someone broke your heart and there was a trust issue, there were three people involved, somebody left you for somebody else, and that's where your trust is coming from. I thought you, I think you dealt with somebody who was a number nine. I also think that nine months back, you had this problem. Nine years back, you broke up with someone or that relationship was on for nine months, nine years, something to do with number nine. So that's where the trust issue comes from. You had your heart broken and now you are actually not trusting the other person, which is not right. Don't trust, don't take your burdens uh, in, the, in the next relationship ever. Ne never do that, earth sign. So this is why everybody does not for earth signs because right now earth signs will be listening. Yes, the key to happiness is in your hand. Something in 30 days should happen. Number three is very important to you. Uh, understand your uh, uh, situation. And uh, I, I think in 30 days, something uh, between you two will be good. It's not just for everybody the same. It's not the same situation. So I, I could be t uh, talking to multiple people right now who are listening. So something nice is going to happen uh, in your relationship, I think, after 30, 30 days. I also get a lot of you earth signs are going to propose. You're going to propose to a Sagittarian. You're going to propose to a Cans uh, Cancerian. And I also get Aries. You're going to propose to an Aries. Or you're involved with the Aries. And you're going to uh, send a person a nice message or something like that. I don't know why I get it. Also some kind of a journey. You two will go on, on a good journey. That's what I feel. You two will go somewhere. You, you're going to pack your bags and go on a nice journey. And this trip will be very memorable at science. This trip is going to be superbly memorable for you. Which you will remember for years and years to come. So this is an important trip for you. I don't know what kind of a trip it is. You're planning something. Or probably you just get married recently and you couldn't go on your honeymoon. And you said after two years we are going to go there. And this is my dream place. A lot of you have done that. I don't know why I get that. I also get a very Las Vegas energy. A lot of you want to go pack your bags and go, go to Las Vegas. I know nobody can travel right now. It will take a lot of time for things to settle down. But I think you made some plans or signs. And one or two of you are gamblers. Don't gamble with your heart. But I think... <laughs> One of the couples that I'm talking to or one of you guys are big time into gambling. Yes, I, I feel a lot of you are uh, keeping information, you know, like you say, uh, you, you're keeping it close to your heart. You're not telling the other person everything, uh, signs. Be a little open, trust. I don't know why am I saying that. Yes, trust the other person, guys, earth signs. Trust is missing. Also open your heart. There's some information you are not sharing with them. Either that you had a broken heart or something about a past relationship that it didn't go well or whatever happened. There's something that you holding back. And I think it's good to share whatever you want to share. It's not that share everything. Whatever you think is right for the relationship to share. But you guys have to share something. Yes. Let me see what are the other messages. I know why I got 42. Is it something in 42, 42 days will happen for you to... Or, or, or you're going to propose or something is going to... Just be careful of a tiff also, earth signs in 42 days. Don't want any tiff happening. Yes, there is a death of a situation. There has been a death of a situation. That means the relationship has ended, earth signs, and a lot of you have started a new relationship. And that's what you're fearing, that my new relationship is going to be like my old relationship. And that's not really a good thinking. It's not going to be like your old relationship. And if you think like that, it's going to end up like that. So guys, have a positive thinking. Earth signs. What's wrong with you? All the cards I'm <laughs> getting are like that. But earth signs be a little positive all as well. Yeah, frustrations. Eight months, eight years, eight, eight numbers. Some kind of a frustrations, guys. You are dealing with a lot of baggage. You have to clear a lot of baggage from your heart, from your head. Otherwise, how will you how will you do justice or there won't be any justice with a new person? Clean slate. I think you should start with a clean slate. Slate this relationship. Some three of you are going to celebrate. 
three friends, three friends together, or you're going to uh, celebrate with two more people or two more female friends. And uh, there's some kind of a celebration. You're celebrating some kind of a news. There's some kind of a love news that you want to celebrate with your close ones. And I feel because uh, you guys can't get together, this is a woman celebrating with her mother and her uh, sister. And I get an older sister and, uh, and she's uh, elder and uh, she's uh, she was she's very happy that you are in this relationship and i think even your mom is and i think you also been having a video chat all three of you that's what i feel she's older yeah your sister's older you're the younger one let me see any other messages earth signs something is pretty good i don't know if a lot of you or one of you did use this line something is pretty good i don't know who you said that to Victory, I also got the word victory. So a lot of you were victorious in your heart situation, which is good. Finally, some good words are coming to me. Attention is also a word. So that's a red flag. Attention is a word. I don't know what you need to give more attention to your situation or give more attention to some kind of a problem. And you've not, you've not been addressing a problem. So guys, just address that problem. Uh, sorry, those were the uh, messages for earth signs. I'm going to move on to uh, the uh, fire sign. Fire sign, this is the love reading for you. Love messages, your heart condition, your lover's heart condition, whatever heart condition, any problems, not any problems, this is all for you. Fire sign, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Lady, uh, this is Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Slip of tongue, sorry guys. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I don't know, I'm mixed Aries and Leo. <laughs> I said Leo Aries. Aries, doesn't mean anything, I don't know. Fire signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Yes, I said it right. Patience, guys. Show, show some patience in your love condition. In your, If you're dealing with your partner, your partner needs to be understood. Show some patience. Uh, don't be too reactive. Don't give knee-jerk reactions to anything. Uh, right now, all you need is patience. If you deal, uh, with, uh, deal with your partner with patience, uh, things are going to be okay. But if you're just going to, like I said, uh, give sudden reactions, not uh, thinking without, uh, you know, just saying things without thinking is not going to be good for you and your partner. So whatever you do, uh, just calm yourself, count to five, count to ten, whatever calms you down, whatever numbers calm, calm you down. And... Um, then 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 deal with the situation i think i'm getting a lot of slip of tongues i think a lot of channel messages and I, I'm, when i talk slowly i think a lot of things get uh, messed up that's why i talk fast because i have to channel so many messages with the cards so guys like i told you i read my cards very differently i have not learned any tarot i'm just a psychic and i channel messages these are my tools what's 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 the love message for you fire sign what's the love message for you friendliness Something you're not friendly with someone anymore. I think you wanted to take the relationship. I'm going to read it two ways. You wanted to re uh, take the relationship. Uh, uh, you wanted to convert the relationship or transform the relationship. It's not. You just didn't take the person as a friend, and uh, you wanted the person to be a lover or something like a boyfriend or something or a girlfriend if a man is watching this so i think uh, you suddenly realized uh, the other person said that we are always friends and when did i say and you know i do i don't see you like that and you're just a friend to me and i don't know why i get that i i get this feeling again and again you suddenly realize that you two are just friends and there's nothing more to that and i think you are more involved fire sign i don't know why i get that, that you are you are more involved it could be the other way around but i i get this channel message that you are you are more involved with the person and you really took the person as not just your friend but a but a lover and then you suddenly realize the other one doesn't have uh, those kind of feelings for you so and i think it's 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 been very it's happened very recently that's what i get let me see what are the other channel messages transformation see the transformation didn't happen i'm going to take it like this because it uh, came after the friendliness and that also reversed the transformation from a friend to the lover didn't happen that's what i get that's a love message and you wanted to take this relationship, you wanted it to bloom, you wanted it to transform into something else, but it didn't. See, evolution. It, it did not. But you've learned the lesson to path, uh, on the path to love that sometimes it's good to leave, uh, you know, good to uh, leave things at just the friendship level. Maybe you two weren't meant to be lovers and the other person uh, probably didn't see it this way and, you, and the person did friend zone you. So uh, also you've learned the lesson. It's it's a harsh lesson that uh, 
Yeah, but a lot of times it happens because you don't know if the person is taking you. You know, sometimes somebody else is more friendlier, and you probably think that the person has started developing feelings or or is more attached or something like this. So that that's that's the heart condition for you, fire signs. That's what I get. Let me see if there's another channel. I'm just seeing if I can get any words for you. Uh, projection. I don't know what it means. Probably you projected something else, and the person thought was projecting it in a different way. The love, maybe that it means. I also got the words, is it familiar? I don't know if you said something, this, these words to someone or someone said these words to you. I get number 17 also. I don't know if you were dealing with number 17. I get a 21 also. I, I also get 21st, 21st of any of the month, something happened. Or probably you find out, or you found out that the person really treats you like a friend only. Present. Your present came reverse. So you're living in the past, that how good friends you were, probably you were lost your friendship also that's what i get fire signs that person is uh, not a friend anymore and you really feel that that person was there in your present and but i think uh, things did uh, turn sour when you uh, when you did uh, tell your heart condition to the other person and didn't you know go down well with them so uh, probably there was a break in the friendship also that's how i'm going to read it i'm going to take one more love card i've taken more love cards here than any other sign but i want to take yeah respect the decision respect Please respect the decision, whatever the person has made. The person just wants to be friends with you. Respect that uh, you don't cross the line. And if the person say, has said, don't contact me or, you know, uh, just uh, just leave things here and just let uh, just let us move on. I think uh, please respect that. Please respect those words and respect that uh, person's feeling and your feelings also. I think you should respect uh, what you felt for the person and it didn't... Uh, you know, things didn't uh, fit well together or uh, things uh, didn't, fall, uh, didn't fall uh, in place. So it's uh, better to uh, just respect the whole thing or whatever happened and uh, not badmouth any, any of the things that happened between you. And that's, that, that's a better way of parting or even if you've parted uh, well. So just keep the respect from both the sides is what I get. Especially you just keep the respect. Don't, don't talk bad about the person at all. Fire sign. That's what I get. Let me see what are the other messages. Yes, you are uh, you are standing uh, with uh, the heart in your hand. I don't know. There's a flash and you can't see it. Your heart is in your hand. And I think you're, you're not very happy. So it was uh, you, probably the man, actually uh, took you as a friend. And uh, you didn't really uh, understand where it was going. And suddenly you found out that you've fallen in love. So this, this whole fire is becoming very much one kind of a story. And you are waiting for uh, now a new lover. I also get you waiting for a new lover. Because you're like, oh my god, I did uh, start getting feelings and I wasted my time also. And I didn't realize it wasn't going to go anywhere and uh, you are waiting for your lover. And you're a little sad. You're also sad that you misjudged the situation or whatever. You didn't judge the situation well and probably uh, it, it all went wrong. And you didn't want to lose a friend and you did lose a friend. I also get 13 number. I get 13, I get 9, I get 3 also with this. So that is your heart condition. It's okay guys. Things keep changing every week, every every day every month you don't have to worry about it i think talk to your friends that's what i also got talk to your friends and you'll feel better you'll feel lighter tell them about your situation whatever happened and you know probably they understand sometimes and they'll ask you you know how to feel not to feel too too much hurt from the whole situation and not to you know, worry about the whole situation i think you're kind of healing that's what i get you your emotions were very high but i think for the past week you're feeling better your emotions were very high i'm going to say that again yeah i think so patience guys that's what it says new person will come in new person will come in have patience i get another seven months and the, and the new person will come in your life fire sign this is for you that's a good number five i would say that you will meet somewhere online I'm going to read this card very differently. This is Archangel Uriel, but I'm going to read it uh, very differently. It's uh, something to do with, uh, you're going to meet uh, either in office or it's going to be an online, um, or you're going to meet the person somewhere online, one of the dating sites or something, and the person is going to be intellectual. You'll have a lot of intellectual talk with the person is what I get. Let me see any other, uh, any other cards, any other messages. Fire signs. Archangel Raphael. Yeah. You were really attracted to that person, I would say. You were really attracted to that person. 
and I think uh, when you told the other person that you were attracted to the person is the time the time bomb happened yes the time bomb moment happened it did explode and probably I, I don't know why I get it the person was angry yeah did the person didn't take it well and it's like uh, you know I never saw you like that or she said I never saw you like that some yeah new love will come new love will come will come one day to save you <laughs> knight in shining armor or the woman whoever comes in your life fire signs fire sign I got 14 is also important for you so are the letters B and J M and K I got M and K also yes seven months just be careful whoever you deal with online also I don't know why I got that message so guys that was your reading let me move on to air signs air signs are gemini libra and aquarius let me see what is your heart condition if it's okay if it's fine if it's beating well your heart what are the love messages has if your lover has been treating you well and uh, what does he or she wants to say to you let me see purpose you two have a purpose in life you two have come together and you know your purpose probably you have to be together you will be together and you do you do uh, you do things very method uh, with with method with method and sorry i mispronounced the word and uh, it always twists my tongue and you do a, you do things with a lot of uh, method and there's a lot of uh, dedication there's determination you know each and every step that you know like uh, this is in one year we should see each other like this or in two years we will get engaged in three years we'll get married whatever or uh, we have to get up we have to meet get our parents together in this month or, or i think you put a lot of method to your love and you're very planned i also got the word planned you're very planned in uh, uh, you know your dates and everything goes according to plan has to go according to your plan and you plan most of the things I don't know why I get that Gemini's you uh, and Libra and Aquarius especially Gemini's you plan a lot of things I think you're dealing with Virgo uh, Leo and uh, Capricorn also that's what I feel and also Cancer Pisces Scorpio I, I feel you're also dealing with water signs satisfaction yeah you're pretty happy in the relationship wear green i don't know why i want to say that wear green guys green is good for you happy in the relationship you satisfied the where, where it is or where it's going or what it is you know the purpose of you two being together whatever you know you were like-minded or you were similar in a way or uh, whatever brought, brought you together and you're very happy with each other and uh, and uh, you don't need self-approval and the other person doesn't define you you don't define the other person you both are individuals in your own right and in your own way so that's important for you let me see a signs what are the other messages satisfaction came again guys you're happy in your relationship wherever you are whatever you are or whichever level of commitment you are in or whatever kind of emotional attachment you have or bonding you have you satisfied with this you both like working together for the relationship and in the relationship Humility, both have humility. That is nice. Especially you have humility, I would say. You have that loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same but on different paths. See, like I said, you both are unique. Individuality is important and you understand that that even if you both are together, there's a purpose of being together but still you both have different uh, roles to play. You have different paths to go to if it's a job or something and you understand each other's space and you give each other time. You also uh, know the importance of other person's time and you value that. And you deal with a lot of humility in this relationship and that's a beautiful message guys and uh, you know the other person is different from you and that's how you treat the other person and you respect that it's not that you cry that you know you are different and you don't like watching what I like watching and you never uh, give me time so there's always space and time between you in, in, a, in a considerable amount or whatever uh, you like how much space you want to give each other and you know uh, how much space the other person needs and you and you both know your boundaries and you both give uh, each other free time you know to do your own thing and you do your own thing even uh, you love spending time with each other but you also understand the other person the freedom the other person needs in the relationship so that's was that was a beautiful card uh you uh your partner will get money your i think a partner is looking for a job or is in, into a new business or a startup uh your partner will get 
get some money, some kind of money I get. P is important for you and for your partner. So where is your partner, whatever uh, whatever uh, relationship you are in, I think P is important for you either for him or her. There will be two decisions for you and this will be money and you both will take those decisions. There will be some kind of a money decision which you both have to take, you and your partner. Your hard work will pay off. Your hard work will pay off in the love situation. If you're actually pursuing somebody and you're putting in a lot of hard work and dedication, the other person will see that you really love uh, him or her and the person will actually commit to you or would actually love to go around with you. That's what I get. So you've been really pursuing the person in the right way. Like I said, you don't, uh, you don't try to, uh, you know, you don't try to make things claustrophobic for the other one. You give freedom and the person loves that about you. You've not been sleeping well, uh, Science. I don't know what your heart condition is, some of you, because this is going to be a lot of people listening to uh, these messages. And uh, for some of you, the heart condition is not really good. Uh, some, In the sense, not like a heart condition, in the sense your heart is hurting. And you've been up all night thinking about the other person. I don't know why. You're missing the person. Some of you are missing the person have not been sleeping well. You get up at 4 a.m., you get up at 3 a.m., you start missing the person, you start checking messages. If the person has sent you any message. Air signs are really attached to someone. If This is for a, a, a lot of air, uh, air signs that uh, could be anybody, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius are really attached to the person and that pers that attachment could be to toxic for you. So just realize if the person is not becoming toxic in your life and whatever decision you have to take after that. So sometimes we are really chained uh, to the people and you know we can't uh, set ourselves free because that person comes into our routine and we get so attached and it's uh, difficult to imagine a life without them so just be careful that you're not just uh, with the person just for the sake of being with the person and there is no love anymore and just some kind of an attachment and the person is in your routine and you can't leave the person see anxiety i told you a lot of you are going through anxiety something to do with number 10 something to do with number 15 something to do with number six also get number nine i also get 18. A lot of you have been anxious, air signs. I also feel you've been thinking, should I stay or should I not stay? Is the attachment good for me? Am I feeling chained? Those are the words. Why am I losing my freedom? I don't know why I get that. A lot of you are anxious. The anxiety is eating you up. You know, you're feeling pretty stressed about something. Time to take action if you're feeling stressed. Time to lose that attachment or try to make things better in that relationship, guys. It's, I said number 8, 17 also came, so that's number 8, some kind of an attachment you're dealing with. You've not been relaxing at all. Yeah, lot of nervous energy, lot of nervous energy. Anxious, you've been really anxious up at night, so a lot of you, air yes, signs. Woman is holding out her heart. Somebody really wants to uh, fall in love, you know, and look is looking for a partner and wants to settle down. A lot of air signs, I feel, uh, especially I'm talking to uh, women here, it's not the, uh, it's not for men, that you really want to settle down and you're really looking for love, you know. Don't get desperate, Is sorry, I did that. Don't get desperate in love, yeah. I know you want to fall in love and but don't make it a fairy tale story. I, I feel a lot of you are doing that very fairy tale story that my guy is going to be in the you know come like on a horse and rescue me kind of a thing. It's not going to happen like that, guys. And uh, I also feel just be a little real. I don't know why with their signs I'm getting. Just be a little real about love in your head. You are making some kind of fairy tales and you know I don't want you to be so dreamy and suddenly things uh, fall apart. Just have the right plan, though you never plan and fall in love, but yeah. Don't wear your heart on the sleeve also, just be careful here, signs. That's the message I get. Yeah, because you're going to be out of balance, you are out of balance. You're thinking too much from your uh, heart. Use use a bit of your mind also, be a little wise in this, air signs. If you're going to fall in love, don't just fall in love with anybody you meet. That, that's a channel message and I want you guys to be careful about that. Attachment, see, attached to someone. You guys are also attached to someone. I told you the attachment uh, did come out. Really attached to someone. Very hard to break the chains. Like this devil card, very hard. Bound to each other. A lot of you Geminis or uh, Libra or Aquarius are facing this situation. You know this uh, 
person is not good for you but it's very difficult for you to break free i don't know what it is i know what what you always question yourself that why can't i break free you've tried it many times but you always come back or that person always comes back to you as signs yes and you also going to deal with somebody who's a number 5 that's what i get i get 14 also i got the word forest i don't know why why would i do that why would i channel him as a forest what does it mean to you or the or the fairy tale book you were reading was in a forest set in a forest i don't know why or you have used natural herbs or something or have you used forest essentials some of you i don't know i just it just popped in my mind so there's so many different things or some kind of a plant that belongs to in the forest and you got it or i don't know somebody gifted that to you and that's really you really love that gift something like that it's in a small pot i don't know why i get that strange anyway i get strange if uh, if a lot of you uh, uh, a lot of you will start a new relationship in 10 months 10 months so this is april so you can count 10 months from now also get you going to get involved with a person who, who is a number 10 gemini this is for you and libra this is for you aquarius this is for you all these all these messages are for you air signs air signs a lot of you will fall in love arrows of love will come hitting soon that's what i get especially for those who will break a relationship you know who will get away from the attachment maybe you cannot find new love because you too attached to one person and there is nothing coming out from that situation the moment you move out of the situation arrows of love will hit you and that will be pretty fast a lot of you will fall in love pretty fast and things will happen really fast that's what i also get that's another channel message yes yeah, signs so those are your messages and i hope you enjoyed your reading do subscribe to my channel hit the like button like i always say and do uh, leave your comments in the comment section and uh, tell me what all resonated and i love seeing all that and i'll be back here tomorrow with another reading another kind of different reading and another video thank you so much guys good night see you tomorrow bye